What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing some more cube shenanigans today, and uh, got a flesh. Check out my uh, check out my Twitch profile. Just scroll down, you'll see it. Um, basically, my default has been thirty five, but it's negotiable. And uh, as I always say, that covers the the ten the ten dollars for entry, uh, the two dollars the two hours of time it takes. We probably won't win anything, and. Uh, <laughs> Here we are, but anyway, if if that's uh if that's too much for anybody, like I, I'm definitely willing to uh to compromise. It's not set in stone or anything like that. All right, so we have upheaval and wildfire stacks deck. Can't play any equipment, any auras, the cards that need to target, and any any card with dragons on it. So where where can we start with this one? I watched on YouTube the recent draft. You making a strong standing in section language. Just want to say I appreciate that you earned your continued. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. It's funny because. <laughs> Oh man, I got some actually. I got some obviously YouTube YouTube comments for that. That was good times. <clears throat> um. I'm trying to find it now. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what we're drafting here. I have no idea what to take here. It could just be Grave Titan. We could just do nothing and have fun. I could just take Factor Fiction. Let's go with Grave Titan. I don't Aye. think that pack really pushes us in any direction, so. Rogue Optic, 10 months. Thanks for being in my background playlist while I edit photos. Nice. Appreciate it. I always accept that. That's actually a... I actually find that super complimentary because I know how much uh, having things on in the background. Uh, I know how finding good things to have on in the background, how important that can be as someone who does do a lot of computer work. Uh, so I actually always appreciate that when you guys are like, yeah, I keep you on the background at work or, you know, while I'm working or whatever. That's the same thing, I guess. Uh, no, the comment on YouTube was, yeah, you do sound like a woman sometimes. Going to try and not watch your videos anymore. You're a bigger baby. You're the incorrect form of Thank you're being you. used. You're a bigger baby than the trolls in your chat sometimes. Okay. Well, that's cool. Thank and I was just like, all right, see you later. Take it easy. Grave Titan does not say Thank target, you. I guess. Uh, Oracle of Moldia seems very good. I'm probably just going to lean towards Oracle here. I like Animate Dead. That does say target. But I, I'm actually going to wait till Villy gets here to do his stipulation. I'm just going to take the Animate Dead, I think. And so that's what I thought too. I'm like, you're gonna try not to watch them. I mean, that's a, that's a that's a flattering compliment that it's so hard to do. You're like, look, man, I gotta take a real strong stand here against you sounding like a woman and a baby. Um, so I'm gonna try to not watch your videos. I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know how it's gonna go. Could go either way, my dude. I'm gonna give it my best. God of flesh. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it, buddy. Zimini pop. Thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Unbearable Lightness of Being, actually a great book by Milan Kundera. Uh, do we Snapcaster here? Are we reanimating? Is is Mind Twist in this cube? I haven't seen a Mind Twist yet. Uh, any chance like I was being sarcastic? Maybe, but there was no indication of it whatsoever. Let's go snappy boy. Oh, pack rat's good if we're uh I like disallow too. Hmm. Disallow is also great with Snapcaster Mage. I think I'm gonna take Disallow. Maybe the pack rat comes back. Frantic search is nice. I like Vampiric Tutor. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I think Vampiric Tutor is probably stronger than Shriek Mar for nothing click. And maybe one of them actually comes back. We'll see. Metamorph? That's a late Metamorph. I'm liking this blue-black control deck we're, we're building here. Are you excited for Modern Horizons? Yes, I am. Very much so. I am super curious to see what a 250 card set, 254 card set has uh, when none of it has been legal in Modern before. I'm super curious to see what's in that set. Baleful Strix is like the most perfect blue-black card I can think of. Yes. Bone Shredder's alright. I hate they can't hit black creatures. Celestial Colony is nice if we want to play Esper or Splash of White. Zimini Pot, have a great afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your meeting. 
Oh man, Baleful Strix and Horizons, gasoline. That's all I've ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted. Isn't that, is that Backstreet Boys or Sync? I can never tell. I'm gonna take Celestial Colonnade. I think the upside is better than just having a random Bone Shredder. Phyrexian Arena seems gas. Let's take Phyrexian Arena. Also, Path to Exile is nice. Yeah, I'm taking the Arena. I want a card every turn. I'll take a Blood Mirroring. Sure. I don't have a meeting till 5. I'm pretty stuck. I don't have a meeting at all today. I have a... Uh, I think I'm going to FNM tonight. I think. So we shall see. History of Benalia, that's pretty good too. In case we in, in case we start picking up these white cards pretty heavily. FNM is just a fun meeting. Yeah, I haven't no, Rob didn't guilt me into it. Rob's actually doing his own. He's got baseball with his kids tonight, so. Um uh, part of my arrangement with cool stuff is that I get some amount of, of store credit uh for my articles. And uh, it's a good amount, and I have, I've been, I just, I've been, I just bought a bunch of uh, War of the Spark cards, so I can have a, an up-to-date standard set. So I'm like, I might as well use these cards. So, Rob has two kids. Rob has two kids and a wife and a house. Like, Rob, Rob is a full-grown adult, yeah. Concealed Courtyard? That helps. Alright. It's like they want us to play uh, Esper. And Spear of Heliod, sure. I used to think buying a condo would make me an adult. It did not. It just made me poorer. I find I find the conversation about like adulthood really interesting. Um, where like this generation compares themselves to their to their parents' generation. Like I find the whole con the whole the whole discussion the whole uh, what do you call it, um, the whole analysis of it kind of kind of very interesting. Where how like uh, I, I don't think this is easy for us. We have four blue cards. That seems a little. That seems a little. Uh, I, I mean, I'd rather take Tamio than Force of Will. I'd rather take Nicol Bolas than either of them. How do you not compare yourself to your parents? Exactly. I'm like, look at my parents. I'm like, wow. Um, so they had a they had a kid when they were like 35 ish. Like they owned their own house. They had full time jobs. You know, with 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 pensions, like or with the you know 401ks with uh, health benefits, all that kind of stuff. You know, so like pretty normal, pretty standard standard living situation. And like I'm an adult by all estimations and I stream Magic the Gathering for a living and I 
work for myself and I don't have I want to take this oh biscuits we missed it scarab god is so good we're taking a scarab god and we're hoping grabbing a chupacabra or shieldered wheels oh wow this deck is looking this look this deck is looking fair but but awesome um and like I'm not married I have no kids I don't own a home I've just rented but like I'm also I'm also a uh I'm also a student, not a, I'm going to say student loosely, but like a uh, a member, I guess, of the, the the gig economy, where like I take jobs, I where I you know I write for PC Gamer sometimes, I write for cool stuff, I you know I uh, I have a bunch of different stream sponsors, I stream on Twitch, I upload on YouTube, like I have about f seven different sources of income every month, and it's like you know none of them supply me with 401k none of them supply me with my own health benefits so it's like i'm just you know it's it's a weird the situation is weird so like my metrics of adulthood what makes me an adult um is is significantly more different than my parents right like i just got a comic in the mail today you know hold on i'll go grab it right now what are we taking here course of portal probably yeah that's by far the best card in this pack hold on i'll bring it back Guys, it's comic time. Yeah, so I picked this up. The, I, this this actually came in today. It is Thor number three thirty seven. It is the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill, who may may have an appearance in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So, I mean, so like I'm here spending disposable income on comic books that come in the mail, and you know I don't have kids to take care of. I don't have you know, uh, <coughs> the funny thing is like, I, I would love to buy my own home. I would love to do like repairs on a home. I would love to like, like in this house I rent, like I would love to update the countertops or get a cool new fridge, but like, I can't do that because I don't own this house. So I'm not going to do it on a house I don't own, you know, but like, and, and you know, arguably I, my mortgage would be cheaper than, uh, than my rent. You know, that's usually how it goes. I have no blue black fixing lands whatsoever. This is terrible. This is terrible. But um, you know, I can't buy a house when I don't know where I'm going to be working next. Like what if I get a job somewhere? What if I get a job at like a company like Blizzard or something? You know, like what if I what if that happens and I have to move and sell my house? So it's like it's really hard without this without the kind of stability that our parents had to to buy a house and settle down. I I like that idea too, Mike. Let me know if you can. Uh, let me know if you can put in put in good words. Again, more more good words. All the good words. But then it's like it's like I mean like that would be cheaper for me. Like our rent our rent is fifteen hundred a month for this house, and I I had you know I I know people who have bought houses that are that are similar size, and their mortgage is like seven hundred dollars a month. So it's literally half price, you know. I think Faraska's Contempt is probably the pick. We're not a recurring Nightmare deck. We have nothing for Tezzeret or Hangerback Walker. Our four slot's getting pretty heavy, but this guy can go here pretty easily, so that's fine. I think I like Kaya. I don't think I, I don't think I like Liliana that much. I like Kaya. I think it's fine. Toxic Deluge is main deckable. Godless Shrine? God. I kind of like this Glint Sleeve Siphoner, though. Vindicate and Reanimate came back? Wow. Yeah, my three two mortgage is only five fifty a month. That's exactly what I'm, that's literally what I'm talking about. And I think we've had this conversation before about rent prices because it comes up sometimes when you're like, your rent is only this much, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't own anything. I have nothing to show for it. <laughs> you know, it's like it's still just rent. Ugh, it's got to be reanimated here, right? And the shielded and the cheaper copper came back. Oh, biscuits. I'll take shielded. I think it's stronger and. Uh, less replaceable than than chupacabra Shut up, my rent is 5k a month for a three bedroom condo wow i know exactly what you're talking about do aviation contracts so i move every six to eight months throughout the whole united states 
Never know where my next contract will let me find this pick. Probably just Ink Eyes. I don't think Ink Eyes is great in this queue, but we do have a, we can bounce a Baleful Strix or a Glint Sleeve Siphoner, which is pretty sweet. Uh, my next contract is taking me to buy a house. Trying to buy a house. My parents' house is just just so I have something to retire. Yeah, I know that feeling. I'm like, I have nowhere to really like. Yeah, it's really it's a weird feeling. Because like our metrics of success are are completely different. Like, you know, us and our parents between those two things. Also, Travis, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Also, I actually don't have a copy of New Moons 175. I'm not a big Deadpool fan. I feel like Deadpool is literally just like... It's like Harley Quinn. I feel like everyone and their, and their brother loves Deadpool. And it's just like... Alright, it's kind of... I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, it's an entertaining character if it's, if, it's, if he's written well, but... Alright, now we're talking. My wife will punch you so hard. Wow, see? There you go. There you go. Threatening violence. Unbelievable. I think it's got to be this Teferi and we can just splash it off of these. And also, like, we can just pick up lands. I know we can. There's going to be an Underground Sea in this pack, so it's going to be great. Uh, there was not the underground sea is a lie I really want this Azoria Signet but I can't pass up a bribery and worst case scenario I just played over the Teferi so that's fine the concept of Delta is fluid and amorphous anyway it changes with the generation because it's constantly impacted by technology of the economy I guess that's true but like it's hard to to accept that you know what I mean does that make sense like it's hard to Scalding Tron would be nice if we had any sort of red blue land I'm just going to take this Counterspell because I think it's strong. Counterspell is strong. You guys ever played Bribery in the Vintage Cube? Like, it takes everything. It takes everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Oh, I like Remand. I like it over Hypnotic Spectre for sure. This will help us hit our land drops. Our landy drops. My girlfriend does genealogy research as a side hustle, and one of the things she has learned is how common easy it was to just disappear and start a new family in another city back in the day. Oh, that's really weird, too. Wow, it's partially see-through. Amazing. I'm catching up on these comics because our comments because there was a lot. I can't imagine a world where Frank is my main source of entertainment. Wow. That's that's complimenting as hell right there. That's great. I appreciate it. I want to put this reanimate in the side, but we already have an animate dead, but we don't really have an reanimate strategy, so I'm just kind of like... I have a comment. All right, I'm listening. You're a poo man. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, poo man or not, I'm happy for your sobriety. Bribery is messed up. Good job drafting. You got creatures in your deck, idiot? Yeah. Way to go, dummy. Any thoughts on the house? Uh, no. Here's the thing. I'm still catching up on comics from 2005-ish. Uh, 2000, 2006. 2006 and 2007, I think. So I'm still like two years behind. Um, and I'm catching up on all the things that I missed because I stopped reading comics for a couple years, actually. I like preordain a lot, but I think Search is actually stronger so I'm rereading uh, I'm not not rereading I'm reading for the first time like Spider-Man X-Men and Avengers like all of the related titles that, that that'll catch me up and I have like 590 on my iPad and I probably have another 600 or so in on my computer that I have to read issues individual issues um, I would actually take preordain because I think we already have uh, arena and course of portal and I think I just want the cheap we don't have that much removal, right? We have Varaska's Contempt. Yeah, we're just going to take Ultimate Price here over Phantasmal Image. We already have Phyrexian Metamorph, so I think we're okay. Ah, oh, God, it's so good, though. I don't feel... I never feel good about giving up a superhero comics. It's just, it's just my bread and butter. Like, I just love it. Are we really just running, like... This is, this is terrible. It feels so bad when you hit, like, none of your lands. We're just really running, like... 
18 basic plains and swamps. That's so bad. Or, uh, islands and swamps. Ugh. Cringe. That is a late dig through time that it will gladly take. Wow, that's insane. I have a question from chat. Is it... How is... How, what is, how is McGimp store mean? What does that mean? Oh, that's not his store. I mean, Collector Legion's awesome. Those guys are like family to me. That's not, I, they, I'm like, when you say it's his store, I'm like, he owns that store? No, dude, don't let Mike think, don't, don't let Mike convince you that he owns his own store. I do have loads of issues. Of comics. That's correct. <clears throat> like, I'm pretty sure we didn't pass a drowned catacomb, a watery grave a polluted delta or an underground sea, right? Like, we didn't see any, or a creeping tarpet. At no point did we did we open any of those and pass, did, did we? I'm pretty sure we did not. Yeah, I, and that's just, that's just sad, because we drafted a pretty great blue-black deck. But blue-black, uh, just like black-white, has very heavy color requirements, double-black double blue double blue double black double blue double blue fantastic tessie gray yeah it's possible the langes were in here too that's that is a thing we also have no power this deck is interesting I think we're taking out the animate dead Well, this is probably the deck. Card draw is fixing, I guess. Oh, boy. Ordinarily, I wouldn't play Ink Eyes, but this is a deck where I'm like... We have a lot of draw, and we also have a lot of evasive creatures. This is just 9-8, right? Yeah, just straight up 9-8. Sure. Alright, let's see. I think the mana base is going to be literally the most destructive part of this, of, this, of this deck, which is unfortunate because I think the deck is pretty good. All right. Expensive, but keepable. Let's hope our opponent's not doing anything broken in the Vintage Cuba. Huh? Okay. Uh, bottom you, I will top you. 
See, now we're doing it. Wasteland. What's a wasteland? Never didn't have counterspell. Never didn't have a counterspell. Who's talking about game stores in LA? Your mom? I don't care about that. Man, where's a baleful strix unit? That past Black Lotus was pretty wild. I'm like, oh, second pick Lotus. Have you ever cast this before? All of this is fine. Um, I think Soul Ring is takeable over Lotus because it's two mana every turn rather than... Doesn't care about LaFauve's mom, that's true. No, that's not true. LaFauve's mom actually let me stay in her penthouse in, uh, in New York City, so I'm okay with that. Come on, one land. Oh, butter my biscuits. They didn't, but they, but my biscuits were not buttered. But they did not butter them. Uh, we didn't take Power Stone because I forgot you could do that. That's literally why we didn't take it. And because now I can play this with these two and then also play the Phyrexian Arena, <laughs> obviously. Hmm. I'm really disappointed that I don't have five mana here so I can, oh my god, dude. If we had, if we drew a land here, we could actually go Hostage Taker. Actually, I mean, we can still bounce our Hostage Taker, which is pretty good. Why don't we have a fifth land here? No, oh, I see. <clears throat> I mean, next turn's gonna be great. We can shoulder it once you through. If we hit another land, we can grave titan. I mean, we just have to hope they don't go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Ulamog, Exile, something. But what are the odds of that? Come on. That's actually fine. That's unimpressive. I am unimpressed. So four, five, six, seven, they have two left floating. They can untap four of these and add six. That's a lot. That's a lot of mana, guys. That's what they're gonna do. Oh, they're just gonna make another ooze? Okay. Toxic Deluge one time. Oh, they didn't they didn't attack with their four-four. I guess they want to trade for Baleful Strix. Show me what you're working with. You got an Emrakul in there? <laughs> oh, you got some fat boys. Oh, you got some fat boys. You got a tooth and nail, a Karn. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clip this guy for sure. Man, bribery is not a reasonable card. Well, I doubt they can deal with an Ulamog. Are you into old school console games? Uh, kind of, if they're really good. It's not Crater Hoof, right? We don't have enough to Crater Hoof. What is this? Crater Hoof would be five, six, seven, eight, and then four, eight, twelve. It would be 20 exactly, but they have a ton of blockers, so we're just going to get a little long here. Nah, it doesn't do anything. We just hold this guy back. I want to keep up Vampiric Tutor so we can go for uh 
I mean, they could just draw Crater Hoof and kill us here, right? Like, I mean, that's not... They really don't have that many creatures, though. These are the only creatures in their deck. And the only other creatures we've seen are Primeval Titan, Biogenic Ooze, and Wall of Roots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Do they only have, like, 10 creatures in their deck and, like, no 1 or 2 mana elves? That seems weird to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did they seriously just top deck Crater Off? Actually, after we said they can top deck Crater Off? This is 11 mana. What the hell is happening right now? Do they have Genesis Wave? Do they have Genesis Wave in hand? Oh god. This is disgusting. It wasn't in their deck, so they literally just had to have it in hand. Oh, they're just making a bunch of tokens? Oh yeah, this is fine. Oh, Genesis Wave for... This guy seems good. They can't really deal with it. Same thing with Sower. Don't think we care about Jace here. That was stupid. Literally had to be like one of their two cards. That sucks. <clears throat> Actually, Kite Sail Freebooter could be good. Like, they don't have answers for a lot of these cards, so. Them boys was thick. Yeah, we'll keep it. What's MTGO Champs? I don't even know what that is. Do you know that that Fast Bond is not a fun card? I like it when they fast spawn, play two lands, and then pass, and you're just like, couldn't you just play these next turn? Fauna Shaman? Sylvan Library, that's a good one. That is a good one. Well, let's see what you got here. Also, next turn Hypnotic Spectre is pretty, seems pretty good against them. Alright, so we are going to take probably Worn Power Stone. Like, you can't play the Nissa yet. I guess you could draw two lands. And this is just a better card. I'm just gonna take the Nissa. Like if they if they still haven't liberated two lands, they can play both lands and cast Nissa. Plow under is in this cube. Love me some plowing under. Man, look look who changed his tune. Oh, you heard him getting a job, Blizzard? False. I mean, unless they're hiring me. 
You you know information that I don't though. So. All right. So Celestia Signet, Warren Power Stone are all gone. I feel like they're doing a lot of things here, and I'm not super I'm not super comfortable with it. They're also at ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All it took was watching one plow under a turn into two and then into a lifestyle. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, I feel like I'm playing very fair magic against them, so. Um, I'm actually surprisingly okay with this because we have a Phantasmal Image, so. Guys, is that better? <laughs> it feels better because now they don't have one, right? What are we hitting here? Green Sun Zenith. That was a good hit. Wow, that was an amazing hit. Also a good hit. We're doing all the good hits. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sylvan Library is very scary, but they're dead on board. Even if they block here, they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so... How many cards have they drawn? We've dealt them, what, one, two, three, four, so they were at 10, so they've taken 10, but that doesn't make sense. Where'd they take an extra two from? Oh, two from Fastbot, got it, got it, got it. Oh, that game wasn't anything. Man, I'm tempted to bring in the Oblivion Ring. This might be a, like an Oblivion Ring matchup where you're like, blow up all your stuff. Because they have a bunch of artifacts. We don't have that many things that we care about, but... I should have been like, GG noob. I can't type right now because it's, it's in the point where we both submitted, so it's kind of loading up the game. There we go. It showed up. And they have a Mox. They got the old fast spawn Mox. That's pretty good. This hand's slow, but the problem is we don't really have any fast hands, so. We don't have many things we care about. Our deck doesn't have any permanents that we even care about. Yeah, it's really sad. Wow, and you have Grim Monolith, huh? Okay. Jesus. This is like turn three primordial titan. Fascinating. I think we're winning this. Thank you. That guy doesn't have haste. Oh, I don't want to put Tamio out now. I guess we could just cast Tamio next turn, though. That's fine. How do we not win this? Like, don't we just tap this guy down forever and then we don't care about the Crater Hoof? We could actually just double block a Crater Hoof here and then just tap this guy down forever. No, I'll just take seven. I think we just won the game because of that. Yeah, sure. That sucks. <sighs> I 
Well, Sky of God is pretty crucial to our plan. Thankfully, this does not have Trample anymore, though. We just need something to deal with the Crater Hoof, I think. I'm not dead yet. This this was really just hilarious. Like we should have just double blocked and then you don't we get our scarab god back. I was worried about this, but they don't actually have another white source, so And we have a lot of cards we can find here. Do you have a thing? Oh, sure. I mean, we're also at 13, so if we can exile this with like a Braska's Contempt or even copy it, I think we're in pretty decent shape. We do have... Uh, yeah, we have Damnation, but... I mean, we'd have to do it for negative 12, which puts us to 1. Not Damnation, we have uh, Toxic Deluge. Yep. And now it is not an option. Sower and Metamorph actually seem fantastic here. The problem with Sower... Actually, no, that's fine. Metamorph. Or Shielder, we have to... They have, they, they have to sack... They sack this, but then they can still attack with this, which is pretty brutal. Land here would be fine. I don't want to go to six. That works for me. The problem is this is going to copy Kozilek. Oh, no, we just copy Sower, right? And then we steal the Crater Hoof, too? Yeah, that seems better. I don't want to lose a Kozilek is the thing. I mean, we could sack, we could sack one, and then we have one Kozilek yeah, and one Sower. Money. I'd rather have two Sowers, a Kozilek, and a Crater Hoof, and our opponent have not a Crater Hoof, so... Madash, thank you so much for uh, the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Is this an Ulamog and you destroy both of these because you're the luckiest player that's ever lived? Of course. Oh, actually, that's not getting, they're not getting cast, though. They're not getting cast. So, we're not dead yet. We're close to dead. Dig through time. Dig through time here. I hope you'll vote for me in the upcoming card draw election. Do you really want your future in the hands of those nerds? Treasure careers and ancestral recall. One party's all day and the other can't stop thinking about the past. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yep, Primeval Titan and Ulamog. Tooth and Nail is such a good draw. Like, congratulations on your top deck. That's very, very good. What up, Sum Elf? I've heard all the stuff. It's like six now, so I decided to start another one. I appreciate it, buddy. Don't be a land. Oh, you're not a land. Wow. Problem is if we attack with this guy, we're basically dead to everything else. I guess we can chump here and take six. Two, three. They can just sack four lands though, but they're dead next turn, right? They have nothing else. They can't really attack. Oh, this guy's indestructible. Well, that's pretty good. Three three lands in a row. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we put two on the bottom, so ten, eleven. That sucks. Seems reasonable, but it was not reasonable. Well, magic's hard. Magic's a hard game, guys. What can you do? On the bright side, the bottom three cards of our library are all spells because we put them there with Dig Through Time. So depending on what those are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, they're not. No, they're not. The bottom two of the the very bottom cards are lands because we just put them there with Preordain. So this has got to be something. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep, cool. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. I mean, sometimes you pre-order to hit three lands. Sometimes your opponent top takes tooth and nail when you when you literally have to. Uh, Sometimes you're you you put in the better cards when they fat when they Eureka, they happen to keep a journey to nowhere and then they have that against you, so that's cool. And uh, sometimes, you know, then then they just top deck a tooth and nail. So like, what are you gonna do? That's that's cube, you know, that's life. That is life. Sometimes it'd be like that. Buddy, I don't even have juice boxes. He's saying sometimes, but I think he means always. I did want to say always, yes. I did want to imply. I did want to imply always, yes. And that's what, that's what this is this is what's comical about that whole thing is like they only had like nine creatures in their deck. <laughs> like not a single mana elf. Not 
They had biogenic ooze. They had wall of roots. And they had primeval titan. Along with these six. They had nine creatures in the deck as far as I can tell. They also have Morari's Wake, but they only have like Gorgari Signet, Stirring Wild. They have they have literal Celestia Signet and Stirring Wild in one planes. I guess you can get it off of the Primeval Titan. I don't know, man. Goli, I literally thought that you were gonna. I thought this was gonna be our game. I thought this was gonna be our game. Take my money. Okay. Buy some juice boxes. Neon Tokyo Rain. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Even though it's still saying your real name, which you hate, I still really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. That's two more drafts in case you guys didn't know. Rob, what time are we meeting for FNM tonight, my dude? I'm starting to not hate. It. I mean, it's it's over now. Like everyone knows. Maybe what if I don't go to FNM and I just stay home and finish Fallout Four? That sounds like it'd be cool. Look at this: two decks, three basic lands each. Oh, your girls have so your girls. You got you have more than one. I thought you only had one daughter, man. Don't be weird. Oh, wow. We just get the first play here? On turn, like, 700? Counter it. I dare you. You're playing. You got one, you got one, you got one island. Come on. Play your spell, Queller. I just tried to watch the mock screen. The broadcast quality is so low, it's embarrassing. Yikes. That's true. Well, I can't. I can, probably can't fall out before FNM because I'll be here until then. I can fall out after I'm in FNM. That sounds good. Um, I'm oh wow. If we played Jace, would have been fine. Played core support, I'll get get punished. Seems good. Yeah, my mic is usually always working correctly. Uh, that's because I spend money on my equipment. This is a four hundred dollar mic, guys. It's running through a two hundred and sixty dollar preamp, and then I have. Uh, a little another thing a little cloud lifter which is also 160 so like my mic setup is about a thousand dollars guys I don't I don't fuck around with audio okay you can't be like I'm glad your mic isn't messed up and then call it an odd flex when I when I brag about my mic quality like <laughs> you're literally you're literally uh, complimenting me on the thing and then I brag about the thing that you're complimenting me on that's not an odd flex that's literally a completely normal flex that's a, that's that's literally the definition of completely appropriate flex. That's like if you said, "Hey, that's a really nice watch," and I was like, "Oh yeah, you like this watch? This was a gift, and uh, it's actually a really expensive watch, super nice." And then you're like, "Wow, that's an odd flex." I'd be like, "Well, no, you literally you you brought it up." Like, dude, wow, you just you just flexed about the literal thing I asked you about. That's unbelievable. Give me another island. No, you don't want to do that. Okay. I'm just gonna play this guy. But also, I'm totally, uh, I, 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 I'm just, I'm also just giving you guys a hard time. And this is, this is not me being upset or anything. So I'm going to put some counters on this guy. Thanks for the, thanks for the four, three nerd. <laughs> doesn't make up for my course of portal, but it's a start. Hmm. Hmm. 
How's that weightlifting going? I haven't done any weightlifting. Are you talking about my flexing? Should have waited to cast this, I guess. I really don't like this, but it's not oppressive. What do we do about this, man? <laughs> so you played a seven mana control magic? I did, yeah, but that's literally what Hostage Taker does. I don't understand. <laughs> did I have a better alternative? I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Bump, 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 bump. Hold on. Don't counter that, my dude. You can't. It's an ability. Get wrecked. They don't have any creatures in the graveyard, but they will. We got to counter. We still got to keep counterspell man up. Woo. Did you guys see Ric Flair went to the hospital? It's so sad. I hope he's all right. All right. They're dead on board. We got nine power. MTG Pyro with the resub. Oh, my God. 14 months. That is nuts. And please, no more baby shark. I hear it too much with the two-year-old. Oh, God. I'm trying. I don't do it intentionally. I do it because you guys literally get it stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. I feel like Mike, you only watch the stream to uh, to brag about your own your own cube uh, adventures. Hold on a second. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no to that. No to just all of that. Oh, and they concede there because we have lethal on board, sure. I think, to be fair, I think our deck has, has has performed pretty well, all things considered. I mean, I think last, I think our first round, they got very, very lucky. And, uh... Lucky, 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 lucky. And that's, that's fine. That happens. Did we... Is this not in our main deck? That's fascinating. This is another deck where I don't feel like they have any answers to it. I don't like Knight of, Knight of Autumn because it can take out all three of these. Look, this whole row of bottom, bottom things... Wait, what happened to the cat? The cat was also seven. When you say the cat was also seven years old, I think that gives me an idea of how very little you have any idea how pets work. Cats live to be like 18, dude. <laughs> I think average cat age is like between 15 and 18. 
I know. I was actually super sad that Tard passed away. Grumpy Cat was like the original cat on uh, on the internet. Oh, he said only seven years old. Okay. The only is very... Uh, the the the, the uh, oh wow look at this <laughs> I'm gonna go forest mox mox and then not do anything else with my with my turn wow that's a, see that's a weird flex but okay why why play these on turn one that's weird because now I can play around and I can be like okay you're gonna have four mana sorry I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. The old casual drop three moxes and have no plays? What the hell? This is so random, dude. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Fuck, you could have dropped three moxes and mana time by Babel Strix. <laughs> uh, mox? Mox? Uh, mox? I'll play Baleful Strings. Oh, I will tap one white mana to mana tithe that. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Oh, my, I'm just... My mind is blown. That's fantastic, dude. We can take one of these with our, uh, look at this, they got white source, green source, blue source, white source, green source, blue source. No, oh, six mana, huh? We got a titan. Anything but primeval titan. No, hydroid crosses, that's it. Hostage shaker's fantastic on hydroid crosses. Hostage Taker is, is great for Hydroid Crassus because you can still cast it for X. And they also, if they kill your Hostage Taker, they don't get it back because it'll have zero counters on it. It's like the perfect, it's like the perfect, like, benefits us, doesn't benefit you. That's all right. I think, yeah, I think if you play three Moxes and then Mana Tide your opponent's first play without spending any mana... You are the biggest narc in the world. Are we going to beat this deck that just goes literally three moxes, do nothing? Because that's hilarious. I'm, I'm basically dead. What the? <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> This is the most amazing match I've ever had. Wow. Wow. That's phenomenal. This reminds me of that scene in Batman where the Joker's like, For all your strength. You have nothing to threaten me with. Where's Rachel? Yeah, I'll play first. Oh yeah, keep this hand for sure. Counterspell preordain? Oh yeah. If we get one black, we can Glen Sleep Siphoner. Well, if they play three moxes and do nothing for all your strength, you have nothing to threaten me with. It's just perfect. Uh, I'm going to bottom you. I want to bottom you too because I don't need another island. And I'm hoping that on the next two turns I can draw another island.
This is looking quite good, actually. Like, we get to draw at least one card off this guy. This lady. And, uh... We get to counterspell whatever they play. We can also find, like, a disallow. Opponent Mogs? Resolves. Mogs? <sighs> sure. Mogs! Okay. Storm count is three. Sure is. <laughs> Past turn. <laughs> Mox number three? Okay. G go. I'll play a Baleful Strix. Mana Tithe. Oh, alright, you got me. You know what? This is worth the card, so sure. They also missed the land drop, so. Oh, we <laughs> we don't even have to work for it, guys. They're just giving it to us. That's great. <laughs> Mox number three? All right, you got it. Oh, I didn't think I'd get to this point. I don't know what to do now. For all your strength, you have nothing to threaten me with. Oh, no. Oh, no. That guy is worse. That guy's oppressive. Ooh, do we just copy this? Ooh. Think of the cards we'll draw. Wow, this is like back when Standard was, uh, was Kaladesh, and you can just draw like two cards a turn from these guys. Yeah, sure. Give me a land. That's not a land, but it is a counter spell, so that's that's pretty good. We also get to attack for another four, get two energy. I feel like despite the fact that there were land short, we're doing very good with this Snapcaster counter spell. <laughs> Man, if Metal Worker doesn't look like a doofus, I don't know what does. Wow, that's real sad. He's just trying to do his job, man. He's just trying to do his job. Look at him. He's just metal working. Also, I don't know if he is working metal right here. <clears throat> Look at that doofus. <laughs> man, he's just trying to get his work done. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. Oh, the old second main do a thing. Got it. <clears throat> What did they reveal? I mean, Teferi's definitely not a card I'm comfortable with, so I will see if I can counter this. We know two of the three cards in their hand, so... Thank you! Mm-hmm. Nifty Chris! Thanks so much, buddy! Oh, what's that button do? Oh, God, do they have, like... Wow, Mana Drain was your last card in hand. That's cool. I mean, if they plus, we can kill it, so I don't think that's great. So we know you have Tide Hollow Scholar Sword. Sure. I guess if you have a white source you can search for Misty Rainforest, you can block the Snapcaster. And Teferi will go to one. Unfortunately. I don't know if they have it, otherwise it wouldn't be taking this long, right? It's a lot of tanking to do for a... Is there anything we want to get with Vampiric Tutor? I don't think so with three islands. Yeah, that's not a white source. That seems underwhelming. What are you going to play here? You have two mana. You have a title, a color, and a sword. Why does a sword cost two? Did they have one floating? It didn't look like it, but they probably clicked it, and then the one floating went into it immediately, so I probably just missed it. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good. 
So we just take your creature and then you're like Dunzo in the Bunzo? Oh, we're in the upkeep. I haven't even drawn a card for the turn. Wow. Who needs cards, am I right? So we take this. You have a Tide Hollow Sculler. Uh, big Tefs, big Tefs, big... We can also put you to two, and then you're probably just dead. But we can just kill you next turn, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Probably matters. But doesn't matter now? I don't know. So this is gone. You have one Tide Hollow Sculler and whatever you draw along with two very wholesome mana. Sword doesn't bother me. I don't care about the sword. I'd rather take their one creature that can block. I actually tempted to tutor here and find something. Which is nice because it goes on top. So we can just take like a Vraska's Contempt. Actually, let's take a Bribery. It prolongs our victory by a turn because we can't get rid of their blocker, but it's bribery, so. I also get a good look at their deck, which might cause them to concede on the spot. <coughs> okay, they conceded. Got a lot of artifacts over here, my dude. What's that about? Hypnotic Spectre should just probably be in the main deck. Toxic Deluge. They do have a couple of 1-2s that are problematic. So if you look at this as just like a 1-for-1 one one removal spell, I think it's actually fine. We also didn't see much removal. I don't hate Vampire Hexmage as a way to deal with... Uh, Teferi. Our man has actually been fine so far. Oh, this is a yikes for me, dog. No blue. <clears throat> Five drop, six drop, seven drop. It's better. Let's draw Baleful Strix into uh, Hypnotic Spectre. I'll never concede if you look at my deck. Wow, that's aggressive. What is this guy doing? Scrap Heap Scrounger. What's his life all about? Tell me the story of your life, Scrap Heap Scrounger. <clears throat> no place, huh? Acceptive? I don't even think that's a word. I guess it is a word. It's not a good word. <clears throat> it's a word my swipe says so. Okay. Okay. They didn't play anything. What's happening right now? There's a lot of counter spells in our hand. They have mana drain. Mm. We can wait. Is this end of turn mana drain? Wow, that's rude. What are you doing? Get out of your hairs. Stay where you're, stay where you're needed.
Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I think we're I think we're copying that for sure. They don't have mana drain mana now. <clears throat> Give me another blue. Yeah. Nope. Oh, they're gonna factor fiction though. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Chris, have a good afternoon, buddy. <clears throat> Let's keep on countering this. And we're going to six here. This this scrap heap scrounger is doing some work. with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Seems good. Uh oh. Untap. What do you do? Don't copy a spell. Just let me draw those two. Come on, they're going to have it. Come on. We know you got something. Come on. Just do, just do what you got to do. Figure out your plays. Got eight mana. It's a good amount. <laughs> Cast your skull, or friend, then pass, please. We're still in the upkeep. They're like, I need to find a way to get rid of this. Oh, they found a way. I'm going to bounce my hostage taker. Six mana. Are they going to dig through time? Repeal. Oh. Sure. So they don't get to draw. That's fine. And that wastes their turn. So that we can actually cast this guy next turn and then they can't repeal it because the repeal is gone. <clears throat> Aggressive. B E aggressive. Got another thing? Wow, this is amazing. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, so let's do this. Shut up and take my money. Oh, man. Give them six cards. Toastier, for the rhino you're going to rent in July. Be careful. I've heard they are dangerous. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Toastier. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm going to draw two. Rent a rhino. That's actually <clears throat> that's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, I think I'll draw another two. I guess I'll just keep... I guess I'll just draw two more. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say no. I think I'm good with, with ten cards in hand. Sure. We're at three. Can we survive? Can we not be dead? Shieldred seems very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have two. We can go Baleful Strix, Shieldred. Hmm. Let's Strix first. I like having three blue up because we can go Snapcaster, Counterspell, one, two, three, four, which leaves us with playing a five drop. If we can hit an island, it's good. Because then we can go Strix. No, we can't. We need three colorless. We have to use the colorless now. Don't want Coercive Portal. Yeah, Ink Eyes is only opponent's graveyard, so it doesn't really do anything. I mean, we can still bounce this guy. But we're, wasting, we're spending five mana to do it. It still puts a 5-4 on the board. Uh, shoulder to seven. You think shoulder to six? Wow, that's insane. You know, you know nothing. You're like the Jon Snow of Magic the Gathering. We can also get back Phantasmal Image, which is pretty busted at that point. My concern is if they just go like... One, two, three, four, five. That hurts my feelings, but I'm sure you don't care. Wow. It hurts my feelings that you think I don't care. Yeah, we're just going to discard some cards here. Let's discard Course of Portal Preordain. I want the dig through time. Eh, it might just be land. Like we're 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 very likely to hit a land here, so. They voted for Carnage? <laughs> you wanna kill all these things? You can have another card. I will draw two. This time I will not draw two. I'm not like I'm not a maniac. I want to keep some cards in our deck, and if we're just disc if we're just drawing to discard, like there's no point. We just have plenty of things to do. Technically, if we counter everything, then there is nothing to lose to. That's true. Ashiok is scary enough that I want to counter it. See if they got the mana drain. Why don't you counter the Snapcaster? I don't understand why you counter the, the counter spell and not the actual creature that I can put on the board that can kill your Ashiok. <clears throat> we lost Bribery? That's eh, fine. Bribery two lands. Doesn't feel like a big deal. Second main, they get two mana. And... Oh, they're going to use it. Lodestone Golem, sure. And Metalworker. You got it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Yeah, I don't think it's to tap me out. I think it's because they're just not making the most optimal play.
One, two, three, four, five. That's hostage take. Went to school to learn gas. I'm gonna show you how to get an A. Ashiok, Ashiok, Ashiok. They have one card in hand, so we could literally just play like Glen Sleep Siphoner and. Is there a way to win this turn? I don't think so. What would you say is your most frequently drafted archetype in Vintage Cube? Um. Mono green, probably. I want to keep Disallow up for obvious reasons. So we'll just play Glen Sleep Siphoner. And then we'll pass the turn. And also, yeah, I could I could see leaning to uh, a, some some kind of salt eye build. Oh, toxic deluge, huh? Well then, I think we just won this game. I feel like the game's over. Thirst for knowledge with consecrated sphinx on board. That was a solid play. See if you draw another counter spell. They did not, and then they left. They were like, I'm done. Take my toys, go home. 2 1. Not too shabby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on meundies.com slash Frank where you get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. And you can check out manatraders.com which has an amazing subscription service of physical magic cards and digital magic online cards. And you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link in pr and promo code in the description. 20% off your subscription with the link in the description. That's nice. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.